not want to be recorded, please feel free to opt off. Like we said, um, this recording is going to be shared to everybody so that you can have access to it. But thank you all so much. Good evening to every single one of you. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Ulua Sheita Awojabi, and I am the founder of Developing Africa. Um, today we are going through the webinar series How to Network Like a Boss, right, with Yinka Maja. And as a quick overview of the agenda, we will be doing quick introductions. So Ms. Yinka will be introducing herself to us. We'll talk a little bit about the DA team. Then we go into the session with Ms. Yinka Maja, after which we we'll talk a little bit about how you can stay connected with DA. And then we take any questions or any questions that you might have. So um, as a quick overview, like I said, DA is a non-governmental organization or a non DA or Developing Africa. I, I say both of them, but it's a non-profit, not for profit. Youth with entrepreneurial skills and self-development skills for free or at an IP discounted price. Um, please, if you're having any difficulties here, you may just let me know. I know my network is a little iffy today, um, but if you want to stay connected, we have a platform where we have regular sessions every week. We try to ensure that we're encouraging book readings and building leaders across Africa. So if you want to stay connected, we'll be sharing the slide as well. So you have access to the direct links, um, but here's the link to join our community. Um, that's our website. We have amazing content put out by our content writers and we can you can also get to know a little bit more, a little bit more about DA. And of course, if you have a question, need anything, please feel free to reach out via email or stay connected via our social media platform. Um, DA is run by myself and a wonderful volunteer called Jennifer. Um, and I'll have her just do a quick introduction of herself before we get started. Jennifer, please. Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Jennifer Izuzi, and I'm the program manager for Developing Africa. So I'm basically in charge of um, everything that relates to um, learning. So it could be um, our skill uh, developing our skill for Africa program or um, webinar series like this. So that's basically what I do in Developing Africa. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much, um, Jennifer. And again, like I said, I'm Shaitan Awojabi, uh, founder of DEA. I also have a full-time job, but in my spare time, I like to just disturb my friends and just have fun and, and make the most of life, to be honest. But we get right in to Miss Yinka. Yinka Madra is awesome. I've known her for a few years. She is the founder and lead strategist for Sixth Breed Nigeria and the curator of Connected Disruptors Africa. I don't when I think of someone who can teach us about networking, I can't. I really cannot think of a better person because Yinka is a an excellent net, networker. Like the way she connects with people, the way she interacts with people and maintains relationship is just phenomenal. Um, I wouldn't want to bore you with like read all of read out all of what is here, but like I said, we're going to be sharing the slide out to you so you can have access to it. Um, but I would have Yinka, Miss Yinka, go ahead and share a slide so that we can get started. Sounds good. Apologies, so let's get right into it. How to network like a boss. So we're gonna, we're gonna be sharing about um, imagine as an intelligent networker in 2021 and beyond this year and every other year that you can, you just want to network with people and meet people. So we want to grow our career, grow your space, and of, of course. <laughs> so, um, Moving right on to it today, uh, I'm going to say first of all that I think I usually say this. I say I, I say this part a lot, and it's very very important. And that the world is composed of networks and not just groups. You know, it's just it's just the same way that I can say that. You know, you know, you know how that I can pick up my phone now to call someone. Okay, I'm currently in Abuja. I can call someone in. I can call Shaito in US, or I can just want to reach out to somebody and all that. So we see. Um, what is happening there? I don't have the or the um, term for it. I think she can can help us with those words, but I know I I, I know that it is network. <laughs> network or networking. You know that you can reach someone here. You can reach whoever you want to reach. You can you can communicate with anybody in any part of the world. You know. So um, this is actually this is actually illustrative. You can see the line. I don't know what this is called. She don't the word. We are the group. I don't have all those terminologies. So, uh, but um, my point is. 
the world is composed of networks and not groups all right and this and this is how we communicate this is how we reach people this is how we this is how we expand our space all right by networking with people by, by you know not just people to people business to business b2c um b2b business to business and business to corporate and all of that you know so um i'm, I'm really good in rush up i know that i've wasted some time so just to meet up with everything that we have here so networking networking basically you know is um this is um wikipedia um definition it says it's a social economic business activity by which um business people and entrepreneurs just like we are all here today there are people in this um on this training today or this session today um, that are you know career people business business folks um you know different diversity as it were you know so we mix to form business relationships like we are going to do and i'm going to make it practical for us today i'm going to say practically how you can you know um network with people easily you know it's it is it's actually not hard it's very simple you know but and you do that to recognize to create or act upon business opportunities say you want to you you are just starting out as an entrepreneur you know you have a business that is just about um in, in the in the growth stage and you want to meet people in in your in uh, okay let, let's say in your in your sector or people out of your sector or you just want to just want to um meet people or um, want um, something around partnership collaboration you can't do that but you can't do that sitting in your room and expecting people to walk into your room or your offices and just you know and, and all of so you so what do you do you, you actually reach out to people and you do that strategically um i will be bringing out some of those things to us um, as, as 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 we commence you know so um um still on the same wikipedia definition it's um, net networking is created to share information and seek potential partners for um, different ventures as well. So who then is a networker? Anybody can be a network. Any, anybody can network. That's the truth. Uh, you know, today I'm not going to be working out with too many um, um, theories. Like I said, it's going to be practical because it is what I do all the time. It is what I enjoy doing. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you also mentioned it earlier that, you know, it's just something that is almost natural to me, you know, so which is why if I'm, gonna, if I'm going to, you know, like I'm talking about it this evening, it's, it's easy for me to communicate it to you. And I, I really hope that you understand it because it's going to be very simple. So according to Collins English Dictionary, it says a networker is a person, is a person who forms business contact through informal social meetings. That it, it, cannot, it can also be through formal so um, um, formal meetings or business meetings or um, anything you know that that can bring one or two persons together to to have to have to discuss about something either business related or personal you know so but just take that as the basic um, basic explanation for um, networking you know um, I call this part the U factor right so the the U factor is um, is actually dependent on you. You know, I don't think that anybody was born. Uh, anybody was born um, with a, a, with a special or a, a a stronger ability to network with people than any other person. Though I know that there are, so there are some persons that are charismatic. You know, they just go to places and then they are, they are everywhere. People they, they get to a place that they are they are naturally like a bulb. You know, like it it it, it would be that. It will, it will almost be that uh, maybe there was no room in that place. And the moment the person steps in, stepping down um, to the place, it just everybody just somebody is somebody just walking, somebody is here, somebody is talking. You know, and, and you know, you know how you know how that light is. And let let, let, let me just give another another um, another thing to say. Maybe like a magnet. Everybody just everybody just want to talk to you. They want to hear from you. They want to know what you do and what you have to offer. You know, so that person that's a charismatic person or somebody that came with an intention all right to um to network with people or to also you know connect with people so the new factor is um is actually dependent on you you know um, of every of all of us in this um webinar today there will be people that uh, do not like to meet people i know people that do not that don't like going out they don't like the moment there is we have four or five or six gather they are shy they don't want to talk they just want to you know be by them just keep to themselves so i don't just you know get their phones running and then start pressing their phone don't they, no, they won't even put up their egg they are just you know trying to um distract themselves as and as it is you know by pressing the phone or chatting with friends and all of that so they, they just don't some are some are shy some don't want to do it some find it stressful 
some find it, um, some, some are scared, like, okay, what if I try to talk to this person and this person do not respond as you were as you'd expect them to respond to you, or you know, you can you can and the truth is you can you can give a thousand reasons why you approaching somebody will not work. And that is that, that this is also this is this is the um, the part of this and this this you factor. You can give yourself a lot of reasons. Okay, what if I do? What if I do? What if I say? What if I do not say? What if I write this way and this person doesn't like to be written this way? What if I do this? You know, you give yourself a lot of reasons why you shouldn't network. As a business person, as a career person, it is very expedient that you know how to, that you know how to network, especially in these times that we are now. You know, you you know before. You would we would say that um, to network, you know, you have to meet them, you have to, um, you know, maybe meet them physically and all that. But now, you know, things have changed. A lot of stuff have evolved. You don't need to meet people and meet people physically anymore before you can network, um, you know, um, correctly with them. You can connect with people that you will never meet in your lifetime. And then that same person or, that, or, 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 or those people, you can you can you can you can work together with or you know for business um um you can you can you can generate business ideas together start a business in different continents around the globe and you guys will you know we build stuff together without seeing the person without 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 you know like you never met the person and then there's no physical there's 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 no physical meeting or anything like that so it is no longer about uh, I have to meet them you don't have to meet anybody to network with them or to connect with them rightly you don't have to do that anymore of course we have social media social platforms now that you know you can easily you know communicate to people just reach out to them add them as friends follow them this that enter their dm you know talk to them that has even made things easier but even with the social media platform and and, and everything that you factor still persists because they, you know this and this is why i'm saying this is because um there will be some people that uh let's say um they've been they've been wanting to speak to this particular person to either mentor them uh, to mentor them in a, in a theme or to help them you know grow in a certain area and all that you have been following this person for the past three years three to four years or so and you have never entered the person being as in it can even be that you are following the person the person is following you but you just i don't know what 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 if what not what if not and you go so so you you get you, you sort of give yourselves all the w expressions in your mind and your head to say i don't know i i, I don't want you know i don't want to be ignored i don't want to i don't want to, you know so you are giving yourself reasons why it will not work at the, at the start so which is why right now um, in this class today, as we start, as we have started already, you know, I'm encouraging you to take away the you factor. You know, take away the you factor. You can anybody can network, all right. And as and as it is, a networking starts with you. It starts with you. It starts with you, all right. It is not about the person you are trying to reach out to. If the person does not respond, okay, no problem. But you did what you are what you are supposed to do. You know, so some of us have projects that we should have executed for two to three four years ago or one to six months ago but we're just you know we are still you know like basic i was saying ah, let me not I, I don't want to push this too much i don't want to reach out on this level or you, you are, or you are going or you, or you just aspire a particular level in your career and you know the kind of people that can help you to get to that place but you keep saying ah, you keep giving yourself reasons why you shouldn't do it network networking starts with you all right and start with you it's not with the person it starts with you it is it is when you reach out that the person can also stretch out back to you but if you are still there holding back holding back to yourself as a business owner as an entrepreneur you might never get uh you know to meet the people or to or to relate to them um you know and then achieve your result because why should you network in the first place there's an intention behind you networking there's there's, there's, there's a reason that there's, there's, there's something there's, there's either a personal interest or something so, okay this person i want to meet okay let's even take it off the career business world now how about what how about how about you want to meet um a lady i want to meet a guy that you know you just you like and you just want to say hi to or stuff like that so you see um that is a, that is another form of or another another part or let me say if an, another frame of networking talking to somebody talking to in, um, in, in quotes a babe or a guy <laughs> that you know it's still networking so it starts with you it is you that have that intention to talk to somebody if you don't open your mouth the person would know what you're trying to say the person won't even know that you have an intention in your heart 
you know so it is about you you know then do you really want to network do you really want to network i know i know some people that always tell me like a few persons in my space and you can't you, you are a natural you know how to you know how to talk you know how to get this person to 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 come into your space and then stay therefore as long as you want and all of that but i, I don't i don't have it is i don't it's like you have a it's not a gift it's not a gift all right I, it's just something that i decided to start to do uh, okay if i continue can you hear me yeah can you guys hear me hear you okay all right all right okay let me let, let me let me continue um i want to share i want to share this particular this particular story about myself so this was um you know um in my in my in my formative years um i i, I did not like if if people will tell me then that i'll become this very free person that connect to people easily talk to people easily and all of that i'll say the like because i did not like people I don't like to meet people. I don't like to talk to people. <laughs> I don't like to. I'm always in my shell. If you know, at school, I just go to school, just come back. You know, I don't. I don't talk to people. I don't talk to all of that. There's something happened to me. All right, and this was what happened. Um, um, or before that thing happened, there, were, there, there are times that they would want somebody to do something in the class, and then they would let they would, they would um, the, I, mean, I mean, my classmates would appoint somebody to do, but somebody that is actually not capable of doing it, and I know that I can do better, but because I don't talk, they don't know me, but because I'm always keeping to myself, they don't know that I can do certain things. Then that day, um, then the teacher, the teacher asked that, you know, the teacher insisted actually that every one of us must take up that task, you know. And as usual, I was already just taking myself to the back, like, okay, before it gets to the 59th person, the teacher will be tired and he will leave, and then they will not know that I can do it. But that day, I was just like, ah, maybe I should try. I just said, see, let me, let me just stay where I am. I don't want to, I don't want anybody to see me or say that maybe I want to show myself or anything. Then I, well, then in the end, of course, the teacher did not, the, the, the teacher disappointed me. It was invited to the last person, and I was up for it. And then that was that I was called up for it, and then um, I did excellently well, actually. Then everybody was surprised. Everybody, everybody had this look on their faces, like, "What? Why have you not been talking? Why, why are you always keeping? You know, and all of that." And then that, that day, I, I felt like, "What's wrong with these people?" But what what actually made me feel like that was that they were feeling like I couldn't do it, and I was like me i can't do what then from that day i got home and i you know i i i i, I felt so bad and i told myself that see and see whatever it is that is making you be this person that you are right right now is not worth it you need to be more expressive you, you need to you need you need you need to talk to people you need to you know mix and then and all of that then what did i do the next day as i got to the school entrance from the gates we, we we had a malam then like um security i greeted him then i greeted i was greeting everybody i was meeting from the like how are you good morning good morning how are you then all the teachers as i was going i was greeting the teachers people said, good morning, and they were looking at me like what's wrong with what happened to this girl what happened to and that was you know that and that and that was that was it that was that was that was the all mark of it so that was that was what brought about the radical change for me you know so you see from what i just shared that it's not as if um, um, I was I was drawn out of my shell. I realized that I needed it. That was that was even when I was still in, you know I was still small, you know. And now you know, if, as as a business person, as a career, as a as somebody in the career world, you need to get up with people. There are certain, like I mentioned earlier, there are certain things you would need, certain things you want to get. There are certain positions you want to get to, but. You are still putting yourself in a position of, um, or, or, or in a place of, hey, I don't, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to reach out too much. I don't want to give, take away those you factor. I'm, I'm talking about this you factor a lot because it matters. Because you can hear everything I want to say after now, and then you go back after this, after this session, and just remain yourself. So this you, you, this you factor is super important. It is about you. Something needs to be shut up. Something needs to be, you know, you need to take something off, and you need to take something on. All right, for you to, you know, so take away the shyness, take away the, and take up boldness. All right, all right, get emboldened. All right, if you need to talk to um, somebody about it, and maybe whatever is keeping you more shy and all of that, you can, you can you can reach me after now. You know, let's 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 see if we can make you more <laughs> interactive and connect to people better. You know, so um, let's move on. 
I really had to wait a lot on that new factor because I it's personal. I like you know, you have to just get away from that space and all of that. Now, you know, um I'm giving us this basic because you I don't know if you're feeling like but it's networking like a boss now. Why is she taking us to you, you, you? See, you cannot network like a boss or you cannot network like a, a pro or anything, all right, without the new factor. Is it, are you not a human being? You are the one that wants to connect. It is not, it's not about the people who want to connect. It's, it is more about you, all right? So it is how you see yourself, you know, how you see yourself and how you, you know, the confidence and all of that, you know, that can help you to be able to network freely and easily. So now, um, I, I, I put here that, you know, extroverted individuals have many connections with others on social media platforms and also in the, in the real world, you know, like if they are in their social media, you know, they are everywhere, you are seeing their posts, they are seeing their numbers. And, when, and even when they are with friends and in their you know, friends or in their office space, in their business environment and all of that, you see them being be themselves. But but I think this is my this is my own observation actually that I've written here is that introverted individuals are more likely to review their true selves online. That is how I see it. And I put <laughs> I put the name of somebody that we all know here. Yeah. I put Don Jazz here. Yeah. I don't know. Do, do you guys, I don't know if there is anybody here yeah, that was familiar with music in the, with the Nigerian music industry in the, you know, um, in, the, in like early, early, early 2000, like um, 2000, um, maybe from five, from all of that to maybe from three, maybe from 2000, and maybe from 01 to to 08 or 09 or something. You know, you, you, you and, and, and you just observe on that day you know he's always one that would just he, he would think in the studio but he would just be on the screen and just hold one um what's it called now all this um, this stick or oh, okay let me just use stick for lack of for not remembering what it is called and then he would just be there you know he would, sometimes he would never look at the camera he would just be you know we know, we know he's a big man yeah but he's not that extroverted at, you know but look at him now he's one of the most influential you know entertainer and musician or artist or anything right now in Nigeria, you know, in the, in the media space, and it's especially on, on Twitter, if you follow him on Twitter, he like, he like his influence on Twitter right now is, is massive, you know? So I, I feel like it is when this, you know, the, the advent of the social media, you know, age and everything, like when everybody's online and stuff that, I started, see, I started seeing another, you know, another part of him, which is actually his true self. Does anybody have any, uh, <laughs> any disagreement with that but this, this is my observation that extroverted people they have connections both online and offline but i've seen a lot of introverts that when you see them online you're like, ah, this guy needs to go to my house how come is this you know joy a lot of how, how come he's causing a lot of stuff in the online space and then when you see be just just not talking just not communicating i know all of that so let me know let me hear from you what you hear from? Can you hear me? Please confirm if you can hear me. I'm not talking to myself. Hello. I can hear you. You can hear me. Everyone is quiet. I don't know why they're quiet. Please chat yeah, and put in your comments in the chat if you're. Um, okay. You can you hear me? Awesome. Do we have comments in the chat box? Do we have comments in the chat box? Betty said she can hear you as well. Okay. I can hear you better inside. Oh, okay. All right, let's let's, let's continue. So, um, like I was Thank talking you. about in, in the previous slide, somebody say something. Is I anybody saying something? I can something? hear you. Okay. Thank I you. I can hear you. <laughs> Hello. Ah, uh, is the person fighting with me? Even better, I can hear you. <laughs> okay. So, um, personality traits or not, we shall network. All right, I hope you are ready while I move on to the next slide. Because this one is not cliche. We don't react all the time that it is, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not what you know it, it, anymore in this day that we are now. That's the truth. It is who you know. It is how how much you can spread your tentacles. You know, like you know, how, you know, how, you know how spider just spread the webs everywhere. Before you know it, that's one spider has connected almost the whole room together, and you are seen everywhere. Just how did this happen? You know, it is not if you think you you can you can know something and be good at something and be excellent at something, and you just want I just remain in the corner of your of your office, all right, and nobody will know you, and, and, and nobody will even know you. 
all right but it's about who you know all right and thank god for now we have you know the online space like i said it's crazy it's crazy what we take what we take you to achieve online through networking before let's say in the past um, 15 20 years that can take you to do maybe like 10 years to do you can do it in three months now because of who you know and how you are communicated and how you are, you know, you are connected with them, even without seeing them. So the key word now is collaboration. You are meeting people, all right? You are, you are collaborating with, with them, all right? Just like this, this, um, this graphic has a lot of stuff. You know, there's there's cooperation, there's people, there's groups, there's in, there's the internet for us. You know, there are software, there are, there are, there are section based events that you can attend. There, you know, and um, okay, yeah, collaborative projects, um, united communities, skills, individual, so, and, and at the end, everything due to success. So it is not what you know anymore. You 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 need to know people. You need to meet people. There are platforms that are you know that that, that you can meet people now. You know. Uh, social media has, has, has helped a lot with, with, with meeting people. You know, LinkedIn is actually very, very effective for, um, I, I, I want to believe that everybody here uses LinkedIn. If, if you do not, please go down and open an account. After, as in, even as I'm talking, I just open LinkedIn, I open, up, open an account. It was not, you're not there. That's where main, main things are happening. And also, you know, different platforms with different people though. Um, there, are, there are different prospects or different platforms. So, you need to know which one works for you. If it is Facebook that works for you, if it is Twitter that works for you, LinkedIn that works for you, or um, Instagram that works for you, you need to know where your audience are. Or you need to know where the people you want to connect with. You, know, you need to know where they are. I'm talking about if you can't meet people physically and all that, you know, because if, if we are trying to connect with or network with, uh, maybe maybe it's it, it what me down in your sector or um, somebody that's a, somebody that's in there for a long time, like a captain of industry, you know, maybe the person is very conversant with, with Instagram, don't go and send them message on Twitter. They might not see it. And then you feel like, ah, I didn't want to reach out before. That new factor will not come again. I said, I don't want to reach out before. What, why did I reach out? They did not answer me. Just, you know, follow them closely to know where they will be. That's, that's part of where research coming. And I think I'll talk about research later in this conversation. You know, we research about them, about, about this, this, this particular set, circle that you want to meet, that you want to, you know, um, be a part of. Okay, let's, let's move on. So this is, um, basically easy and self-explanatory. This is a process of you moving from, let's give this guy, this guy with the blue hair, let's give him Richard. This is where you are on, by, your, by, by yourself on your own. You want to move and connect and network with a group of people. All right. So um, this is, let's assume that this is where everybody is at the moment. And then this is, let's say, let's give um, this, this, this pretty lady, Angela. Angela is here. She's in the process of moving. All right. You know, she, she, has, she has debunked the meat of um, the, the, the you factor. All right. And then she's ready. All right. To meet people. Same as um, Richard, as the bunkmate of New Factor, and then she's ready to move to express herself, to network, you know, to, to expand, you know, a uh, uh, um, uh, space, you know, uh, for growth and for profitability. So, what do you need to do? You need to up your connectivity and networking skills. I like this too. You can, yeah, you know, you can use them for each other, but let us separate it for your boss to understand it. You know, the only thing you need to do to move from, um, let me go back, to move from, where um angela and richard is to where these guys are the three guys all right three guys on the on the left um or on the right anyway your laptop is but where the three folks are you know is to do what is to up um you know um their, their connectivity and networking skills you know it's it's not it's not just enough looking through the lens of okay what do i do how do I go about it? The you factor. Now I believe that by now, everybody listening right now, you're taking off, you're taking away completely that you factor. You are ready to to mingle, uh, you know, pringle. And <laughs> I'm so sorry, that was just a joke. So now back to it. Types. Um, um, these are those type of networking events that you know you can attend. You know, um, these are just these are really suggestive, so you can you can decide on which works for you. But as a business person, all right, like as as a boss, as a CEO, as as a founder, as a strategist, or as um, as um, a professional, you know, in your sector, in your industry that you are, you know, these are these are the kind of I know as as a corporate person or a business person as well. You know, these are the kind of events that you know. Um, I would suggest for you there are other events that uh, maybe get together, you know. 
um, social events and everything, you don't want to go, it's fine too, but within the context of what we're talking about today, um, I was just going to suggest this one. So um, breakfast, um, net, I think I've been to almost all these kind of events because I like to meet people. I, it, it, it's something I love to do. I like, I, I love to meet people. I, I like to connect with them. So breakfast, um, it's working events. Yeah, if it's early in the morning. So um, maybe say from eight to 10, I think the max time is usually eight to 10. No, not here too. I've been to one at seven. Some start by seven and then end by 10 or 11, you know. So they are, they are just, uh, you know, just get coffee, the tea, any sort of tea. And then um, there are usually activities in this kind of event that you can maybe switch your table. You move from this place to the other to meet this person. And then it is basically for networking. So, and there are, there are events like this around you all the time, but you might not know. So one of the, one of the uh, platforms that you can get some of these events, I know some of you might know, but let me just remind you, is um, um, Eventbrite, you know, usually have a lot of, I don't know, if, if you don't have Eventbrite app, please download it. You can always go to the app and then you find a lot of events, a lot of events that you won't even believe. Some, and you know, there are a lot of free, free um, events that are around us that we don't even know about. Many times I just go in there, I just, ah, US Embassy is organizing something and then it is free. You don't, you know, so um, you might not see it everywhere, but you know, just get, just get it up, you know, um, it, yeah, event right here. There are a few other ones, but I, I use event, event by mostly. Um, so to, to check for um, events that, that are coming up, you know, some and the ones are not free. They're usually not so expensive. You know, that, you know, if you are committed to growing your space, if you are committed to growing your network, you know, you, you have to give some commitment. Also, there are some, there are some that are free. There are some, there are some that, that are not free. All right. So um, industry spe uh, specific speaking engagement. Um, this this is not generic this can be in two ways it can be that you are going there to be a speaker or you are going there to to just be a participant you know but this is this is this is one of one of the benefits of networking and it's that you know the more you network with people the, okay for me there are times that i just go to, i just go somewhere like go to maybe a breakfast a, a breakfast um, networking event and then i meet someone like person is like oh that's ah it's good to meet you we have a we have a training coming up next month do you want to speak at the event and i'm like ah, I just meet you. Well, anyway, yes, I can speak. Send me an email, you know. So from there, you know, so from from, from networking, you, you from from going out, going to some of these events, you meet people that you know that can help you expand your space, that can help you expand your circle. Okay, so um, you can either go for you know maybe um, event that's specific to your industry. Say you are an accountant. I know that there are some ICAR related events that they do. Um, if you are in the, uh, as a project manager or part, you know, there are always events that are specific to uh, particular you know um, roles of some people and then industry. And if you are if you are like um, if you if you if you are in the fashion industry, if you are moving a, a a movie maker or if you are you know it can be anything they are always events that are specific to your industry so how do you know this you you search for them go to event right, like i said and then they are, they are usually you know follow follow um um you know links or groups that share such information just just every week like every not every week every day just even if you are going to going on twitter alone and set a hashtag you know fashion industry or fashion or something like or fashion event you will see some events that you will know that is happening at the back of your house and then when you go there you meet somebody in your in your in your in your in your industry or not or something like that before and then and you know not anything can happen you can you can from there you know be, become partners or work on a huge contract or get something through them and all of that so you don't get all of this all of these things by staying in your space Go out, meet with people, um, you know, exchange contact. I get all of that, but let me just move on with this with this space. I'm seeing that the time is flying. Oh my god! So roundtable events, um, you know, um, roundtable events. I don't. Uh, I have attended a lot of roundtable events, and I usually very also because the people are not always too much. All right, so it can be uh, maybe like 50 people or 70 people, you know, it's not much. And then on your table, you can have like 10 people or five people. So on your table, you can just, you know, talk to them. And you can, of course, there'll be times that you have to introduce yourself, everybody meets you, you know, and all of that. So attend events. That's one of the things you need to start doing, you know, and if you, if you want to do that physically, virtual events. So they are even better around table. I've attended a, a coffee party online. I've attended a cocktail party. On, I've attended a lot of parties online, 
I mean, not parties now, not, not always parties. A lot of corporate events online that we have fun, we drink, we eat, and everything, we share contact, you know, you know, a lot of that. So, um, happy hour networking meetups is usually happen once in a month. Um, it can be within your organization, maybe you work with UBA, for instance, and they say that, okay, everybody in UBA, all the staff of UBA in Nigeria are meeting together or for happy hour or something like that, or networking meetups, just it can, it's something casual that you can just, you know, open your open your arms to go in you know stop stop putting stop boxing yourself up in your spot you need to move out this year this 2021 you need to meet people you need to enlarge your you know ah you need to meet people then linkedin groups this is not limited to linkedin groups alone um yes yeah there are a lot of facebook groups in fact i met a lot of people on facebook facebook groups you know and there are there are groups either on facebook or on LinkedIn that are specific to your industry or that are specific to your to your role or your achievements or your anything. There are always groups that, you know, and there are so much, so many of them, you know, that you can belong to, that you can join. So from, the, you know, you, you don't even need to, to meet people physically anymore. Join these groups. There are a lot of groups. If you are, if you are, whatever industry you are, if you go on Facebook right now and just search for groups that relate to your industry, you will see a lot of, a lot of groups that you can join. And as you join there, as you, as you, maybe, you know, is that they introduce you that you are a new member or whatever, you introduce yourself, you know, maybe it's virtual. Before you, you can say, I don't, I don't want to now to walk up with this person. But now it's virtual. Introduce your segment to get it. This is what I do. Is I, this, this, this are the value that I can offer. Most time, I've done that a lot of time. And, more often than not, I usually get like 10 people, at least 10 people that just send me an inbox to say, oh, Inka, I have this project, I have this social thing, you want to work, work on it together. It is that easy. I have not met this person before. I just enter the group that I like, you know, I, I feel like uh, it's related to one of the things I do as a corporate trader or, or whatever. And then I, I enter there, I'm not waiting for them to post. I'm already introducing myself. Hello, everybody. This is me. This is what I do and everything. And then somebody, somebody, somebody will always need what I, what I, what I can offer. I've noticed that in all, almost all the groups. But if you don't join, you are just observing, liking and for, liking and liking and liking, even commenting. If you can, if, you know, you can, you can start to engage with people through commenting on on the post on on those groups, on LinkedIn groups or or the Facebook groups as as mentioned. You know, just if somebody write something, write something about it. You know, write your thoughts about it. Don't just be liking, liking, liking. The, who, 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 would it like help? Comment, like, you know, in that comment, you know, write something that is catchy. Write something that will make somebody say, okay, who's this person I don't join? This person have sense, you know? And then, you know, from there, <laughs> that's not fun. I said, this person have sense, you know, that somebody doesn't want to know, that somebody just wants to be, you know, to know more about you, all right, from just a simple write up, you know? And then, so from, yeah, so groups, um, networking events, um, breakfast networking, industry specific speaking engagements, if either as a speaker or as a participant, um, roundtable events, happy hour networking meetups, all of these are super important. You just, you just don't want to be the boss in your office alone. All right, go and meet, go and go to where bosses are, go to the other boss are, all right, and then you know, up your level, be, be with them on the same level. Don't just want to, don't just box yourself in a space. In your location and then you are just there it is time to move out it is it is, it is time to, to to expand all right it, it, it is time to grow your circle and i really hope that i'm, I'm communicating this that i have like i'm talking to somebody i'm eating it raw for somebody tonight it's okay yes it is time to really really move on all right and move out you know talk to people communicate with them network with them genuine connections it can be done it's not hard you know um so at some of these events that you start attend either physically or um or online or virtual you know virtual events and all of that so um like i said in the um why you know introducing yourself or commenting or or engaging in, their, in other people's activities and all of that bring your a game all right bring your a game all the time whether you're meeting people physically or not or virtually you know bring your a game make sure that uh you you already know what you're gonna say you know and this this comes from a place of preparation and i think i should say this very briefly i should mention I'm, I'm supposed to mention it later but i can talk about it now you know you, you, you know that you can actually plan your uh, you can actually have a plan for um your, your 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 networking game for one year you can say okay for the first three months of the of the year for the first for the first quarter 
I'm going to network with five captains of industry in this particular um, industry or your, or your industry as well, anyone. So you have a plan already that before this is this is February now, that before April or May, you know, I would have connected with these people, you know, you would have so you, what you want to what you, what what you want to do with them is personal, you know. Say so, okay, yeah, then maybe for mentorship or for partnership or for collaboration or for certain things as well. So you have that plan already. So you're not just waiting to go to events and then be looking around and say, okay, who do I meet here? Who do I not meet here? You know, not just that alone. You can also have a plan, a steady plan. I do that and it has worked for me over the years. And every other person that is in my space that I sort of talk to and encourage to do this thing. Like, okay, you are having a challenge in this particular area. Who are those that can help you out? Okay, let's we'll list them down. Like, as we, have never, we have never met these people. Write their names down. So, okay, they are going, this is okay. They will start maybe, maybe let's say three, three of them that want to meet them in the next three months or six months, you know. And we check, we check, we start to follow them on social media. Okay, they be like, okay, follow their events. Maybe they are speaking in events, speaking engagement. To say, maybe they are, they are, they're going to speak at this so, 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 so place in um, in March. This one, this person will speak here in February. This person will speak here. I will attend the event. I know that I'm because I'm certain that I'm going there to meet this person. I'm going there to network and then particularly for this particular person. You know, you know, I this is very important to me because I've done it over this and I've the results has have really been crazy for the kind of people that I've met and they're not just meet and greet or meet and then away. They are still in my life to today. So it is a deliberate act for me to grow my career. All right. It is a deliberate thing for me to do. And whenever I meet them, I don't meet them casually like. I just want to meet you and just say hi, sir. I already know what to tell you. I know what to say to you the moment I, I see it because I'm, 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 I'm prepared to meet you. Now, there are always some instances where you, you do not even plan to meet the person. That is why you always, you know, you have to, you have to put yourself in a space that, see, and, and it's not just for me to go to an event. Every day of my life, I can walk, I can, I can meet somebody right now that is the IS, is the number one guy in my industry. What will I say? So you train yourself or beat yourself up to know what to say, what not to say, you're right, you know, how to eat the target, how, how to eat, you know, there's a, you know, there's a certain things that, um, okay, let's not go there, that's to that's go for this session. But my point is that have a plan, all right, and always do your A game, irrespective of, who might try to say something? Come on, this mic is for me, is the person trying to say something? Yeah, I'll just mute her. I think she just joined. I'll go ahead and mute her. Go ahead, please. Okay, so um, are you saying I should continue? Please continue. Okay. All right, that's fine. Um, so let me let me move past this. Um, so because of our time, you know, another thing is why you are meeting people, body language is super important. You know, you don't want to meet people and then it is written all about you that you want them to help you or you, or you, or you, 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 are, you are so dependent on, you know, um, whatever it is that you, that you, that you are planning to meet somebody with, you know, you must offer value. Because, um, there are some times that I've, 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 I've planned to meet some certain people. And then before I meet them, like I said, I do some research on my hand. You know, if I know that this person will move my career from A to like J or like to A from like from like A to letter G, I would not I would I would just be the person anyhow. All right. So I, there's a there's a there's a way I would dress, you know, because for that kind of person or you know, the caliber of person I'm trying to, you know, connect or network with. You know, there's a way I would look somebody or meet again. To then be sure, this person trying to ask something or Shaitan, can you please confirm? Um, hi, great. Okay, so are you trying to say something? All right, I'll go ahead and mute her once again. So, of course, you, you don't want to look like you're not ready to, you know, um, to network. You're not ready to, of course, this is, this is networking like a boss. You're not just anybody. You are actually the boss. You want to show the person that, see, so I'm a, you're a boss, so let me tell me boss. <laughs> so you, you come with your boss level. You know, you don't want to, uh, we, are, we are trying to, okay, for instance now, um, there was this particular person that I met somewhere, it was, at, it was an, an, yeah, an event somewhere um, in Lagos. And then the person um, was, was talking and um, 
person wasn't looking at me. Person was looking at another person, and then just you know, just you know, here and there, the person was just. I'm like, do you really want to have this conversation? You know, because you look distracted. You look, distra you look like you like your mind or your heart is not in what you are trying to say. And the person wanted to talk, but I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was later that we had a conversation. The person was like, yeah, he was shy and he didn't know how to. I'm like, and you know, it was not even as if the person was, you know, asking for anything. It was a business conversation. And you could not even maintain a, a, a serious body language. You were just here yeah, and there and all of that. I took I took that that stuff as this person is not serious. But later we, we talked later, and then we were able to see, we were able to have a common ground. So okay, yes, okay, this was what happened that day and everything. You know, so body language is super important. You don't want to, you know, I've, I've mentioned the physical appearance and then also your courage, your confidence. Okay, and just like um, that person, you know, be confident in yourself. In yourself. Don't just, um, you, know, you are talking to the person, you are, you know, maybe scratching your hair, you are you're just everywhere. You're just looking disorganized, you know, because so it, it depends on the caliber of people you want to meet anyway. If you want to meet any other person, you can do any other. But I wouldn't, I would not encourage you to do that. For the fact that you even join this webinar tonight, you know, be strategic and, and also be strategic in your conversation. Like I said, in bringing in your air game, you already know what to say. You see, this, this can, you know, we can actually incorporate this into our everyday life. That what if I meet the person that will take my business from this, um, from this 500K to 50, 250K income to say 10M or 20M in a month? You know that kind of person, there's, there's, there's a way you communicate value to that person. For the person to understand what the for the person to even you know let's just say agree to what you want him to commit to you know you must be strategic in how you you know co communicate to people you you, you really have to you, you see you don't have to sometimes only there was time that we, we, we my one of my partners and um someone we have we are we having a meeting somewhere and then i actually i went to just boost the guy morale i wasn't supposed to be there I don't want to boost his morale. And when we, when we got there, he just brought out his laptop and then we we're just doing this, doing that, showing this, showing the showing the um, investor this and that, this and that, this and that. And then the man said he should just close his laptop and then talk to him. You know, you, you wouldn't believe that this guy could not say anything. He could not, he, he could not express it. So everything he had done, he had done a good job, but everything was inside his laptop and then, but he could not communicate, you know, what he wanted to go. And that was, he said, he, 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 the, the investor was just like, okay, since you don't, we are not even, you don't, they're not even sure. Of it. He was sure, but he just put everything in his space. And then he was not even flexible about how he can communicate his ideas, all right, without him, you know, showing or starting to open something. So be ready to meet anybody, be ready to meet you know, anyone that can, you know, influence your career, influence your business, get you to a better ground, to a better space, all right, um, you know, without um, depending on anything, just, just flow, you know, because people, you know, people, people, people can see through you. And the thing is, if, some, if somebody is going to connect well with you or network well with you, the person would decide in the first seven seconds. And that's that, that's actually a fact fact if i meet you now and then you start to tell me something about then we just meet to connect your network in the first seven seconds I, in my mind it's, it's a natural law i already know if i want to continue to hear you or if i just want to end the conversation so you you must know the right things to say all right it's, it's actually your business so why should you not know everything about your business that's like I, you meet an investor now or anybody now somebody that can help you with stuff i don't know i imagine just ask a simple question as easy as what is the mission or the vision of your system? what are your values and then you start ah let me sorry let, sorry sir, let me check my website ah, you just point <laughs> so like your business should become the blood that is running through your brain you don't need to you don't need to go through anything for you to you must always be able to communicate the things in your mind or the things anywhere you're missing it down to anybody you know another way to for you to communicate to people or to really you know drive the interest of people you are trying to network with is to find commonalities find common interest you know like i said that this also boils back to the original idea the research if if the person I'm trying to connect with now, for instance, is someone that um, is, 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 a, is a Rotaract member, for instance, you know, or somebody that is a part of one some, some, some or part of an organization or anything, you know, 
I already know that this person is a part of this thing. Or let's say the person is always posting about hiking, always posting about mountain climbing, or something, 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 something. You don't need to, you don't need to do mountain climbing, you don't need to do all of that, but you just know what they like. Or maybe the person likes this particular kind of drink, person always talking about it on the social media pages to say, I, I like this, I like this, I like this. Almost I like, I like, I like, I want, I want. You must know it, you know? Because when you eventually, you know, meet with them, you, 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 you can you can easily you know just it's, it's just it's just normal that if somebody knows my likes and dislike and the person is trying to connect with me um on any level business or personal level it is easier for me you know it is easier for me to you know also communicate and you know talk back to the person and then you know we find um you know we, we sort of talk more but when you know when you're just talking about things that do not interest me i might just lose, lose interest so look for what interests people look for what you know can you can get them talking you know and all of that so um look for similarities maybe in your your past in your future in your present that you can that can you can that can easily i you know just get them to to communicate and then just get them to really really um converse with you so of course offer value for um this one can be for um, maybe we are trying to you know network with or um you know connect with you know that they, they need help in this particular area you can you, it's not it's not compulsory but me, I think I've done it like two times. Like there was somebody, there was a, there was somebody that um, one woman at this chamber of commerce, and I was trying to communicate. And then I noticed that I noticed something. that whenever she was, um, she 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 um, she has a driver. Whenever, when, but whenever she's she's coming to the office or something, she usually she has like two bags, and then there's a there's a, there's a smaller one that doesn't fit rightly. So she just carries everything, and then the guy just messes everything up for her. So I, was, so I just look at it that okay. There are actually some kind of bags that she can buy that if, if she just puts both her handbag and everything it to stand correctly and they would, they would just roll it over to the office without any itch or any, any any issue. So I knew that and then I just I sent her a link, same I know I observed this, blah 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 blah. And then she was like, Hey, how are you? From there we got talking. And then instantly I said, My I need I need to see you. That I my side, I just want to see you to discuss one or two things and all of that. She, 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 of course, because of that thing, I, I told, it's not like I was targeting something so that I can get something, but I know that she needed something. I offered value, it was so easy for me to do. And it was also, it made it, it made it easier also for me to be able to have access to her, you know? So um, that is something, you know, this is actually done, this can actually happen on different level. The offer, uh, the offering of value, it can be to offer, okay, but like, like a give and take in business, okay, I'll do this for you, you do this for me okay so you're trying to network to get something from somebody so that the person can also you know get something from you it can be on so it's i just give that example to understand that okay if, if you're trying to you know connect with somebody and then it's not just what can what can interest this person what does this person need to do you know it was another a case that somebody usually sent something to, her, to where i was working there the person does like it's like personal issues with excel <laughs> And I was like, this person, what this person just sent scattered documents all the time, and everything just confused everybody. And I knew that I was I was trying to meet the man for I was just um, for some reasons. So I, I sent him an email. I said, sir, I've observed that whenever you send us so 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 this is so 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 this is how it's called and it's usually look destructed and everything. And, 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 so I provided a solution just by email. And he replied me, and then I did. I, I did for, for that one, I, I did not say, sir, I want to see you. I want to do the whatever. You know, it was just. And then from there, we we built we built a relationship. From there, anytime you need something like that or something like that, you just so he would tell his staff. Imagine his staff to call me so that I can explain to them. So you see, I offered body, and before you knew, the relationship grew. And then when it was time, that I wanted to talk to the person. It was easy for me to you know, um, communicate my my needs or anything as it were at that time. I wanted to do a certification there. So it was very much easy. You know, so and another thing, you know, um, this one is to you. Be free to ask for help. If 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 you if if, if through networking you need help on certain thing, you, and you know, just be specific that this is what I need, this is what I need help with, and all of that. Sincere people will always of course we always want to help you. And then if it's not that way, then you can you can you can you can access where it is through another means, you know. Um this is super important, you know, at uh, the point of meeting, you know, like the cases I've given to you, the people that maybe have even met somewhere or have not, have not seen before, or, and then something happened and then all of that, but if you are meeting them physically or not, either physical meeting or virtual meeting, maybe you have, maybe you are, maybe you contact them, them contacted them through um, your social media platform, say Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever, 
and then they replied a lot of that. Make sure you get further so, and further further means of you know um, communication. Maybe their phone number or their email address. Because what if they lose their account tomorrow? You know, say, ah, I'm talking with this man. People can tell stories. Say, ah, yeah, this man, we should chat that time. Where is the number? You don't have his number. Ah, come on, minister, so, 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 thing. Ah, we met, so, so, so. We met, we met at that event. I shook my hand. Did, did, did you collect his card? You know, these are those things that are just normal that, you know, so why going for all of those events or if you are trying, okay, let's talk about the physical events. You should have, you should have a, um um complimentary uh, complimentary card you know now it's even easier if you meet somebody that give you know there are this app now that you can scan a complimentary card and then it just saves on your phone so this it saves the front and back detail instead of you know because you know it, it, it's it's you can easily just forget the card somewhere but they're giving the card i don't ah, oh my god i forgot about this app I can't, I can't access my phone right now i would have just informed you about it but there's some app like that that you can you know use to um get people people people's complimentary card yeah and um it is super important to follow up i'll, I'll be writing up now next few minutes it's super important to follow it's not just about getting to know them or communicate to them or get their contact make sure you follow up actually follow up with them all right so um so you follow, you know, some of my friends call me the queen of follow up. Like I can follow somebody up. Eh? <laughs> I just give you your contacts now, or because I'll make sure I collect your, your at least maybe your phone number or email or I'm because what if your email shut down? I shall have your number. You know, so there's there's always so there's always something like maybe three lines or something like that that I can reach you. Social media, you know, um, email or on or or, or or your number. You know, um, anyway as as it works for me. So keep following up until you you get your results you get the, the result that, that you desire so uh, i need to run up in like two minutes i share something is confirmed that it's two minutes i have <laughs> yes yep no about so five can... minutes actually you can do about five minutes a roundup uh, five minutes. Uh, you know let me just let me let me let me let me just go past this, this two slides then they have just three minutes but that, but there are things I've said before. I was going to talk about this part, this this slide before. But let me just talk about this one alone. So, from being a crude, uh, whatever, from crude, I don't think like from a crude to a boss, from a crude networker to a boss networker. You know, um, this this from the number one. I've said it from the start um, about um, the new factor: change your mindset about maybe not maybe it will happen, maybe they will not see change that mindset you are you are, you are, you are enough something uh, i don't want to see leave that one change your mindset so leave that your crude states see this is 2021 things are moving at, at a crazy level at a crazy pace you want to stay where you are anymore change your mindset and you know like um i had mentioned this part before um you know the fact that you just okay i want, I want us to observe this very closely this particular um slide there you know the number one has been born. Um, second, you know, you just want to, some people just want to go directly to, uh, to just pitch whatever it is they want to pitch. Sometimes you have, to, you have to just calm down. Just ditch that pitch. And they get to know that you go to a network, net, networking event or networking, whatever, either virtual or, or, or live, and you're just pressing your phone to be saying, I'm going to have to know what you're doing. See, there's a human being in front of you. Focus on that human being. There's a, there's a, there's a time to press your phone. But we are there to network. We are there to meet people. We are, you know, like, like we said before, we have the plan. So don't just go straight to, but just re, um, just reel out all the information and all that. Next, seek to know the human being in front of you. You know, like like we mentioned before, find common grounds for commonalities and common interests. Know the person first. Know the people first. Then, and the, number three, pitch like a pro because you have you have gotten their attention or you have gotten the person's attention. All right. So um, another thing for number four is listen more than talk. When you are dead, when you are, when you are, when you, when 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 you are trying to meet somebody or, or talk to somebody or engage somebody and then you have you have just like you have you have like maybe ten minutes. Uh, you know if you go for these speed networking events, I don't know if anybody have been to any speed networking event. If you, you just have like five minutes to to introduce yourself to the person, and then the person also introduce their, themselves to you in five minutes. And you have to that's like that's like the only chance you have, you know. And then you have just, you have just four minutes thirty seconds to talk about yourself, and the person has just thirty seconds. Ah, why? 
that's even about that. That's a different ballgame, man. Actually, but so they just you know create time so that because you don't you just don't want to talk, talk, talk. Yeah, from the person also. But this is more like listen more than you talk. Don't be don't be the one that is just you know just running your mouth all, all, all over the place. Listen, all right, more than you listen to the person. Even in 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 in, in, in another the person talk, you can you can you can you can you can understand how to communicate back to the person. You know, so listen more than you talk. You know, and of course, pick the right crowd. When you are intentional about going to some particular event, and then you now um, you want to meet maybe captains of industry in the engineering or tech space, and then you now go to the event. You are now talking with people that are into um, I don't know. They're not, they're, they're, you just 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 you just didn't mix with the right people, or, or, or you did not you know um, find the right crowd to, to meet. So it is whoever you are going, that you are planned, you know, like you said, our planning that you are planned to meet with, you know, that you're that, like a target. Don't go and sit there with people are talking about dress. See, move. Go and meet the person. Don't just find, you know, an avenue to, to connect with the person that you want to connect with. You know, I, I, I also mentioned this one before. Um, everyday networking at lunch, maybe when, when you're on the queue to buy to buy coffee in the morning, when you are trying to get um, lunch at that event or anything. See, make it every day. So it's something like it's only when you want to go for networking and an event that you want to meet somebody. Or an event that you want to talk to somebody that you now start practicing your networking skills or how to connect, how to how to relate or master your connectivity skills. Try to network every day, even if it is the only people that are in your office space in the in the, like the old building. Try just have a talent. Okay, today I'll talk to this one. Tomorrow I'll talk with And before you do it, you already you have built that skill already. You don't need to practice or realize as well anytime you meet who you're supposed to meet, you know, so, and of course, practice makes perfect. The moment you know, the more, the more you do it, the more you talk, the more you connect and, and you know, relate, network people, it becomes very, very much easy for you to do. And of course, it's not a competition. We are not in competition with anybody. It's not a competition. Be free, all right? Be, be, be free and, you know, be sincere. You know, people can see through people that are, that are not genuine. So, you, you, and, you know, you can, you can, you can fake you can you can you can fake a bad attitude, but you can't fake a bad aura. Maybe around Misha, you can fake your attitude, but there's an aura. I will not know that this person is not is not real, you know. But so it's not a competition. Calm down. Set to see, calm down. Calm down. All right. Again, follow up. Follow up. Stop saying ah, I met the the, the commissioner so, 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 last week. Let's see, we did not collect. I did not collect card. Did not collect. No, did not did not follow them or anywhere. You don't say you have. So see, follow up, find any, any of those avenue that you can use to follow them up and follow them, of course. And then number 10, which is the last one, don't neglect the network that you already have. Don't say because ah, in the past few weeks now, I've met five ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So every other person that, that are in the local, um, that my local space or local environment, they no longer matter. See, that's not true. That's not true, you know, you know, that's an action that, that's actually not, that's not right. Keep the contacts, keep the people you already have in your network. No matter how you rise to another level, you know, don't neglect the network that you know you currently have. So I was gonna give us um okay, let me just let me shut that out. So um this is me at the end of it. Um I've rounded up already for I had to do this um as fast as I can. So this is um just I'm just saying this is uh, my complimentary card, for example. This second part, the one that has the 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 logo alone is the front and this is the back this is actually attractive i think it is attractive so if i give you give you, if, if i give you this card now you don't forget my face you want to you know want to reach out to me and all of that so get a complimentary card that is actually um very nice you know and i, I was going to talk about personal branding for networking before but i can't do that anymore you know i was going to talk about websites some things social media to manage everything all over but i can't do that because my time is up right now so personal branding for networking i can talk about it another time but i'm not stopped now so thank you very much everybody i really appreciate um the time being here today i'm glad that i was here thank you very much da team for having me i guess we're going back to the question so over to you shayto thank you thank guys. you so 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 much Inka. i really appreciate it um if there are any questions from the people on the call please feel free to put to, to kind of put them on in the chat window or you can come up mute and talk about them but while we wait for that um there are some questions that you know some people have asked and i know we hey. have just nine minutes to round this up um there's some questions that some people have uh, had asked when they signed up for the webinar 
Um, the first one is, and I think it's it's a struggle that everybody faces, right? When you start up a conversation with someone, I know you had talked about meeting people and planning the conversation, but there are very spontaneous conversations that happens that you don't know necessarily how to go ahead with it or how to run with it. So what's the best way to start and keep up a conversation with a network target? That's the question. Awesome, I like the question. So, um, can you hear me clearly? Yes. Okay, I, I I really like that question. So there are, there are always instances where you not you know not like you plan to meet somebody, but you are meeting the person for the first time. So um um I, I would say that first of all, start the conversation by focusing on the person. You know, just don't um just don't rush people. Don't rush people to say okay, I want to do, 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 do. And, and and at the end of everything, the person just wondering. Okay, so you want to meet me because. You want this, you want that, all right? Focus sometimes, focus on people. And another thing is, so look, some people are naturally likable because they are much interested in others. Like if I meet you, for instance, now, and I say, um, and I, I, I'm like, oh, good afternoon, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, the person is, and, then, and you know, the word, how are you alone, can make me, you know, just, just want to listen to you because I want to know how you are doing. Let me give you an instance point. Um, for, let, 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 let me give you an instance. So um, in December, um, we went for something at the beach and then there was this lady that was there, you know, she was just like, ah, she doesn't know how to do that business. Whenever she wants to talk to people, she doesn't even know how to do it and everything. And I said, this thing is not how I do. So we were, we were actually at the beach, at the beach front. And I said, okay, follow me. So I took her like that. Then I just walked up to one man, you know, I didn't even know the man was a married man. I went up to the man and I just said, good afternoon, man. And, and, sorry, good afternoon, sir. How are you today? You know, how is this and that? Then I, I looked at his, his aunt was wearing a ring. Then I asked, I, I, I asked about his family. And then from there, I, I asked him what he does. And then, you know, he asked me what I do. Then we started talking like we've known ourselves for a long time. And she was just there standing beside me like, ah, what's going on? I ended up everything. I collected num man's number. They collected my number. We shared. We talked about uh, our different organizations, and that was it. And then, so I, 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 I just took her from there, and I, I, I took her back to everywhere. That see, you, you, you just what I just did. And she was like, ah, that was that was like a miracle. It's not a miracle. I, I've never, I've never met the man before, but I just wanted to connect and network with this person. What did I do? I walked up to the person boldly. But she, because she was like, ah, don't go. What did the man say? What are you doing? Or something. something. I just said, leave me alone. He, 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 can't, he, can't, he can't beat me. <laughs> so, you know, and then I, I spoke to the man, you know, we, we started talking about um, our different businesses, we exchanged contact and all of that. So, you know, when you approach people, even if you don't care, act like you care. Maybe if something around them, maybe you see, you see their bag or their wristwatch, or maybe if, if you know about good wristwatch and shoes, ah, I like your shoes. Where did you get them from? Before, you know, before you know, we, are, we already started a conversation. Or you saw something they did that before, maybe they spoke at the event or something like that. Compliment what they spoke about. Say something about, pick a point, just say something about what they said or something. Or if you can't think, if, if they are not, they didn't speak or anything, at least the person is a human being. They, there will be something you can compliment about the person. People like compliments. Who doesn't like compliments? You think it's only women, women that like compliments? Even men like to be, to be complimented. So say something about the person, all right? And then you, so from there, converse seek to know the person if you have any value to offer at that time yes if you don't have anything to offer yes but just go then from there you can go straight to what you want to talk about so the person that okay this person is interested in me not just about networking as well you know so i don't know if that helped Yes, that definitely helps. Um, like I, just the overview of what she, or summary of what she said is, make sure you're interested in the person you're trying to speak with. Be interested in them. Be interested in ask about personal, well, not too personal, of course, but ask yeah, about things enough, that can course. get them to talk about themselves and talk about what yeah. matters to them before you go into, Absolutely. you know, what you might want or whatever it is. Um, Absolutely. the final. There are two other questions, but I think you already addressed one of them. You actually addressed both of them. But just okay. for um, maybe a deeper dive, how effective is LinkedIn? You have about two minutes. How effective is LinkedIn in networking? And I guess, how do you make the most of LinkedIn? Okay, LinkedIn is, uh, you know, is one of the places that I, I converse with. I've not, I've, I've been away from social media for a while. <laughs> I'm not trying to get back my game, but uh, LinkedIn is actually effective. 
you know, for people that have their DM open, you know, that you can send them direct message, you know, that can they can reply. To. I've had, I've, had, I've connected with a lot of people that are very influential to my career and my my, my personal development on LinkedIn. You know, it's just a matter of approach. All right, you don't want, you don't you don't want to you don't want to talk to you don't want to just say hello and leave the chat box. You don't say hello, say hello, man, leave. I love, you know, like, and this thing, well, this complimentary thing also works with whatever thing. Ah, um, man, I, I see that you are in this particular, um, you know, in this particular sphere or industry. Uh, you, you, you've you been doing an amazing work with, so, 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 maybe something you observe. Um, you know, so you appreciate them, you compliment them, and then you ask maybe to, maybe, um, like, like a meeting, maybe a Zoom meeting or something like that. So you just, you just don't go ahead with whatever thing you have. Compliment them, check what they have been doing, appreciate their work, their previous work. And then you can you can continue to converse with them on whatever it is how you want to connect with them. But make sure that you do these things as 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 as, as it's supposed to be. You know, there are there are, there are rules to it. You know, just don't say hello, my hello, my hello, sir. Whatever, ma, can I call you? Like, why, why are you calling me? You know. So get them to get them to be relaxed. You know, this, this is just a natural human law. You know, you don't want to don't want to just want to um um encroach somebody's space. You know, like that. You know, get them to to relate um, with you. So yes, LinkedIn is effective in connecting with people because it works for me. Perfect. Um, again, reach out to them. Don't just go straight to the point, but also remember to engage and get their personal side. I guess that also goes back to what she had said at the, at the beginning of let people talk about themselves. Let them feel comfortable first with you yes. before. Yes. You start a conversation around business or around you know the real life the real work things or networking things you might want to talk about but thank you so much yinka any other questions from the audience i know we have two minutes left any other questions before we call it a day no Don't, let's work with me or this is what i'm talking about let's work with <laughs> yes, me right I now put what? I put um I also put a, um Yinka's email address in the chat and a phone number. Um and you can also reach out on social media, connect with her, reach out. Nobody is we are available. Reach out to us, send us a message if you have any additional questions, did anything, you want to learn more about what each and every one of us are doing, reach out. When you attend webinars, just like Yinka said, when you attend sessions like this, don't just keep to yourself and say, ah, I just want to hear and be gone. No. Listen, con so connect with the chat window, interact. Yes, can I say something? So, you know, I think I already talked in that in that in that line about you know, just like where we are on this call right now, you can just put it um on your uh, I mean in the chat box. My name is also so, so stop. Put your email, put your number, and put what you right. do. I don't nobody exactly. will beat you. You know exactly. You know? Just put your say I am everybody so, so 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 I do this and that and put your phone number and just leave, you know, and just leave it there. Somebody will reach out to you. Just you know, this is we are not even sinners. So nobody can beat you. Exactly. But but another yes. thing that I think is important from here, and I'd like you guys to come off mute and share. You know what have you learned? I'm going to stop recording shortly because again, I know that some people don't want to be recorded. Um, but another thing is, what was I going to say now? I can't remember. <laughs> Let me stop recording and then we can continue. But yes, another thing that I stop recording. Make sure.